We got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Clarence not being forced into marrying Queen anytime soon. Let's get it. So now, previously, I spoke on Lena calling someone sloppy while trying to defend King. People kept bringing up the fact that Lena was complaining about people actually body shaming her, and then she goes and does it to someone I else. I really look at stuff, just browse around. I just want to also, this is the PSA for... This is just a PSA because it really just been irking my soul. People really be like bullying me, bullying us. And I just want to say this. I'm not one of those type of people that just get on social media and start bullying people. I've never just got on social media and started calling people out of their names. I've never got on social media and started being just mean to people. I'm not that type of person. But if you're constantly like, like antagonizing people and bullying people and commenting on situations that you don't know about, like you cannot expect for somebody not to say anything. Whether it's an influencer, the biggest celebrity you know, your mother, your dad, anybody. Like if you're constantly antagonizing people, like they're gonna snap back. They're going to. I absolutely agree. However, I will say, if it's not something that were to be true, I guess, um, I would just ignore it. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, certain shit, I will be like, because some people, I he has every right to feel some type of way about them calling his son Mr. Bacon's son. <clears throat> it's just like, come on, bro. It's really unwarranted. Um, but um, if you look at how things are being done, and that's that damn social media, you know, it'll look like, um, Mr. Bacon is there more for him than King is and none of it has to do with Lena but clearly they talking about Lena too so she has the right to defend herself as well it's just a lot it's unnecessary to say something and especially if you're being really really disrespectful honestly, hate you're going out through of pocket it. you guys are constantly trolling like it's inevitable for a human being not to say something back and I just feel like we have to there's just so much stuff that goes on on social media that be like super overwhelming um but me as a person like i'm not gonna get online and just bully people but if you're bullying somebody if you're being disrespectful if you're trolling and if you're constantly just like people really just be saying like some evil crazy stuff to me to they do be saying evil stuff to them better than me because child at that point i probably won't have no comments if, if you keep coming for me and I can't take it. I just probably wouldn't have no comment. And or I just post and get off like Clarence said. Post and get off. At one point, everybody was on my ass. So <clears throat> either post and get off or I wasn't posting at all. I'm out of here. You know, some things is a, is a bit much. This has been going on for three years. And theirs don't stop. Yeah, three years. Theirs don't stop. Years, y'all. Three years. Three years. If it's not one thing, it's another. Literally. You can't win in this situation at all. It's like the most craziest thing because it's like, I don't know just how people be on social media. I'm like, how can you even let words like that come out your mouth? Like people, I'm telling you, y'all are not in my shoes to know what it's like to deal with the stuff that I deal with, to read the stuff that I read, to get the messages that I receive. Um, So yes, if I snap on people and if I come out of pocket, you brought me there. You took that out of me. And that's what it is. And yeah, I know. It's like, be the bigger person. Ignore them. But it's like, there's only so much I can ignore. I'm human. I ignore a lot. Trust me. There is so much that I ignore. There's so much that I don't respond to. There's so many comments that I don't argue with. I let be. But sometimes it's like, I'm not... It's like I'm not a robot. Like you can't just keep talking to people however. You can't just keep commenting about people's like image or or a situation that you just don't know about and not expect like some yeah, you just can't do that. You can't do that. And honestly, Lena responded to a comment that stated, Lena, I get people are coming at you for you to respond and say something mean towards them. However, you were just in the same boat saying people were bullying you. Lena responds with, people are being very disrespectful. Lena, you will never win. That's why she just need not to say anything. She literally just can't handle this. But I'm not going to lie. Anything she say... They're going to absolutely um, blame her. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, cause she thinks that she needs to go to hell because they're going low. You know what I'm saying? So I'm called all types of names weekly. Like I said, I don't randomly go online bullying people. However, if you're being disrespectful towards me or my family and we've had enough, all bets are off the table. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below, but let's move on to this next topic with Queen Nyjah and Clarence. Now you guys know every since their six year anniversary, everyone has been pressuring Clarence to marry Queen like where is her ring even Chris Sells Queen's ex popped out and made fun of the situation well Clarence has finally spoken out about how he He's felt like, really, about you're, everything your family really happy, and yeah, we're happy yeah. that's what I'm saying and like bro from the outside looking in it's just like it seems like it's bad or some shit, but it's nah. like that's why I really be chill on some shit. like I could tell when it does, I could tell when I think it's serious when people in my shit calling me like yo y'all good i'm like yo, are you serious that's what i'm saying, saying. Come on, you know me but bro. like is there chilling out family from queen brain hair like, <laughs> no real shit. like i'm over here like yeah. like yeah, we be chilling bro and I'm that's like, what i'm saying so how do you not let that shit one day that would probably be the next like advice i think a lot of relationships today kind of let the internet so, dictate yeah. like how their relationship go like so if something go bad it'll be yeah oh i'm single like, why are you posting your single? Because, because yes. you're looking for attention. Yes. And, like, everything is not for attention. I think I take my relationship with her very seriously. Yeah. So, like, even if we're not on the same page or she's not on the same page as me, we're not going to go online and, yeah. you know, make a and fool like, of ourselves. Because yeah. it's, like, it's not for them to really know. Yeah, exactly. You know and I feel like you guys, bro, like, been in there for so deep and shit like that. Like, like, bro, like me, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I look up, like, I see that shit and I fuck with that. Like, it's, like, yeah, being able to have that. somebody, like by your side who don't bro and that's these conversations i have like with my family my sister like bro like even going arguments like going to the internet and shit, just like bro like somebody yeah. that doesn't run to the internet like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and just to can just always handle shit inside and yeah, all different bro. types of shit. i'm not gonna lie i'll get fucked up like even how do you even handle this shit? like when people say in the whole like man shit, how do you not let that fucking get to you like I, I think I would be lying. Sometimes I do want to get online and be like, "Nigga, yeah. I make a hundred something this this yeah. month." Like, but it's like, for what? For what, yeah. bro? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. trying to prove myself to yeah. people that who never one been. really don't even care. Truthfully, they're just trying now, to like be go, messy. Go, they're trying to go along yeah. with the, bro. That's a, they just bro, to do not give a fuck, nah, bro. They just. Ice like Spice and Cleo are gonna argue, and everybody forget what we do. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Like, Which is literally bro, like, what happens. That's what I'm saying. Like, just there for the drama. For so it. that's what I'm saying. People forget about. Shit, so how do you even handle that? Shit? Just like you just fucking just don't turn your phone on or whatever. So nah, just I just don't like, pay attention. Like, um, I don't really like look at comments and shit. Like, yeah. Even when I post pictures, I don't look at comments. I kind of post and get off it. Yeah, I look at everything. Cause it's like, yeah, that's like that's unhealthy. What, yeah. as do you guys leave your opinion? Definitely to uh, look at every comment. It'll drive you crazy. ...on what Clarence had to say down in the comment section below. He's basically stating that he's not letting the internet force him to marry Queen. Now, I'm not stating that Queen is trying to force marriage, but you can tell that she's getting a little impatient waiting on him to propose. Clarence is making it seem like it's all good and Queen isn't even pushing for marriage, that they're just brushing it all off. But Queen does read the comments and she does respond to some of the comments. So you can tell that some of the things that are being said about her relationship on the internet is actually getting to her. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment <coughs> section below. I think that, um, I think Queen at one point definitely was like, bruh, what's going on? However, I think now it's kind of like, you know what? I'm forcing it. Hey, call me crazy. I think she's thinking now, like, I'm forcing it. Like, just let it happen naturally. And I also think he's on the other end telling her, just let it happen naturally. Like, I feel like if you got to force somebody to marry you, N nothing about that is genuine. Nothing about that is attractive. It's like, give me a second. You know what I'm saying? If a second take, 
nine years and you don't feel like you want to be here anymore. Okay. I get it. But I got to propose to you when I'm ready. I think, um, he's definitely getting into his man thing, obviously, or been into his man thing, but I mean, grown man shit like nigga. Yeah. He, you can tell he's very genuine about his family. He's, he brought up how he loves CJ. Um, you know, love legend at this point, it's an equal thing. I remember when they first met, Clarence was like, yo, I ain't necessarily trying to be a stepdad for real. He wasn't even trying to be a dad for real, you know? So I just feel like it takes time and um, he needed some time. And I think he is getting into that groove. And to be honest, y'all, I think he want to drop that clothing line first and have his, his shit together how he want it to be. And I think that's important for all of us, like, you got to be a better version of you before you could give any version to your partner, period. So that's just my thoughts. It don't mean shit because I don't know what's going on. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.